check me out. There's a movie star. That's a little cold. My hands are freezing, but this can is hot. I like it. Oh, we're back for another one. I'm Jay with Q. This is What's Q. Nice. So what is Q? Q is the Honey Badger SBR in 300 Blackout. This is kind of our pride and joy. I guess you could say the SD is the OG version, but this is right there with it. The Honey Badger is not your cousin Jed's AR build that he built. Uh, a lot of the things on this are proprietary. Some people think that's not true. Uh, we'll explain why. The first thing everyone sees with the Honey Badger SBR is the color. Is it colored? No, it's not. It's clear anno. Uh, these receiver sets, they're not standard AR receiver sets. These are, uh, are done to our spec. There's a few little features in here, you know, milled in, brass deflector, that's normal. But we hide our little stock arms in there. There's just a bunch of things. To be frank, our cost for these, these strict receivers is more than you can go buy some complete ARs for. So if we're gonna be like Grand Thumb and go nuts to butts or whatever he says, we start at the front. We got a trash panda on this one. Uh, you could do, the, the beauty with the Honey Badger SBR, especially in 300 Blackout, you swap a bunch of cans. We have the Thunder Chicken, which is a little longer, a little quieter though. This is a trash panda. You got the trash panda that's a little shorter. It's still real quiet. Uh, you know, you're not gonna really know the difference. That's sitting on a cherry bomb. That's our muzzle device. It's got a taper, it acts as a sacrificial blast baffle. It's cool, you've seen them. Tapers before threads. That's a cool thing, who's doing that? Pretty much everyone, but we probably started it. Uh, the taper allows for better alignment. It's gonna seal that gas off, so you're not gonna get all that carbon lock if we pop this off, which we will. I'll show you, there's nothing on the, on the threads. It's magic, no, it's engineering. Uh, it also requires 20% more force to remove the silencer than it does to put it on. Tapers are wild. That might be magic, I don't know if that's engineering. Just behind that, we've got an adjustable gas block. Why are you buying guns that you're gonna shoot suppressed and shoot subsonics through that don't have an adjustable gas block? That's dumb. You're gonna have to mess with your buffer weights. That's that's stupid. So if you have a gun and it doesn't have an adjustable gas block on it, that's your fault. Um, that adjustable gas block is sitting on our seven inch, one in five twister in your blackout barrel. Ever heard of that? Probably not, that's why you're here. Uh, so we spin those rounds real fast. It helps stabilize this, the long, heavy supersonic bullets. It's also great for the, subs or the supersonics. So it's putting more energy on target. It's stabilizing. It's also putting that rotational energy on target. It's only helping you. This is an M-Lock handguard. Do we have something better in coming down the line? Maybe, I don't know if I was supposed to tell you that. Moving down, receivers. Oh, we've noticed something's missing on the upper receiver. Dust cover, is it really missing or did you even need it? No, you didn't need it. If you don't believe me, ask Kevin. Uh, inside of that, we have our bolt carrier group. It's a two-piece bolt carrier group. We've done a bunch of stuff, a, a few videos on it. We can get into why later, but it's cool. It's two-piece, it's adjustable, it does a bunch of cool stuff. Below that, you've got the lower receiver. We have a nice flared magwell. I think Kevin calls that one 94 Madonna. Oh, she was dating Dennis Rodman. That's why it's 94 Madonna. Oh God. So in our lower, we have the flared Madwell. We also have our trigger. Literally the best trigger ever made. Have you heard of that? Cause I know a little something about it. It is quite literally the best trigger ever made. We have Radian ambidextrous 70 degree selector levers. Everyone thinks you need to be fully amphibious. That doesn't make sense. But we're, we're half amphibious at least. Uh, so the Radian Raptor, Raptor charging handle, this one's made for us. It's a little slimmer, uh, clear anno. It's got a Q on it. We're special, they like us. We have the Honey Badger stock. This is a proprietary buffer system which allows us to use this stock. It's a retractable stock. It's two position. Everyone says, why is it all three position? Well, that's slow and dumb. You don't need that. You just need two positions. Open it up, go to work or whatever they say. So those stock rails, they're nice and, Nice and streamlined with your receiver, won't get snagged on a bunch of stuff. That buffer system, when you take it apart, it doesn't hinge open like a normal AR. I guess normal AR, it's not really a normal AR. Uh, it kind of slides out. It can be a pain to, to get back in there, but it's all for good reason. On the Honey Badger stock, you have a built-in sling mount. You can run QD cups if you want to, or QD sling attachments, that's stupid. But we have the G-Sling with the Sling Devils, put those on your own sling, whatever. Do anything really other than that QD attachment point. When have you ever had to rapidly remove your sling? That doesn't make sense. The Honey Badger SBR, 300 blackout, it's hard not to love. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's fast. It's, I think it weighs four and a half pounds. It's slim jammy, you know what I'm saying? It's out of the way. It's like a personal offensive weapon. I don't know about PDW, but it's POW for sure. Not prisoner of war. Yeah, so when uh, your cousin Jed's showing you his Daniel Defense Mark 18 that came out 25 years ago and hasn't changed, uh, you can show him your premium of premium, not your cousin's AR, Honey Badger SBR, 300 blackout. It's awesome. It's cute.
Ice.